Now we have um, everything set up. So we're at video 4433, we've done that. And we have Sublime Text, we can read KDL here. And we actually know what kind of color this is. We don't, not yet. So command install color hints. That's the one we need, color hints. And if we install that one, we know that this is yellow and this is gray and let's play around. So nothing major, small decisions is always best <laughs> to do. It's always say, I always say, same with ISO builder, distribution builder kind of thing. Baby steps, small changes and have your win. Enjoy the win, right? And then gradually go and change things. So in the beginning, I've decided BE, that's something you need to do maybe. That's the first thing. The hotkey overlay skip at startup, that's this. I didn't want this to pop up each single time I boot it up, right? So super S, the guys of awesome to know the key binding, super S. And now if we go, we read. Um, I can actually remove these guys as well. Uh, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So try it out. The whole comment. Save. Super X. Log out. Log in. And we're going to use our time to just to play around a little bit with uh, this setup. If he likes us to do that. Let's do a. I have no patience. <laughs> Let's do a. Control R and reboot again. It is a virtual machine. Super D, sublime text, boom, we're back. So what else can you do? You can do layout, gaps 10. Oops, yes, yes, sure, blah, blah. Another blah, blah, lots of blah, blahs that we don't want, get away. So gaps 10, what if we just set gaps 20? Safe. 30, safe. Okay, so super enter, it's gonna look like this. If you have big screens, there is no reason why you shouldn't do that. If there is enough enough pixels, that was not what I wanted to do. So back to sublime text. Safe is what I wanted to do. Now we have this. Back to, I don't know, 10, save. And there's lots of things, never default behavior, focus when to con or center a column when changing focus options are always never so things like that presets proportion 033 so one third to half and two thirds i've been playing with this sometimes i put it to eight it, i used it used to be five as well true five as well so super q control t control t maybe like this right i like the effect that we can go over the other screen basically so this is 50 50 and i like the idea to be able to do this well not this you have now a half screen right so super f is an interesting now super f and super shift f Super F and Super Shift F. Okay, Super F. So we were here. I'd like the idea to have a eight or nine or something like that, because then you do a Control T and another Control T, and you can actually click. Right, you can actually move visually from screen one to screen two, and if you're zero point nine or zero point eight, I mean. What's the difference, right? Control Alt F. This is Firefox. This is big enough for Firefox. But if you take 0 0.9, it's here, right? And you still can go with a Super F or a Super 
shift F to a full screen if you so desire. So I used to have a rule that's maybe interesting as well. I used to have a rule in here, open maximized true. You can say that by default, if Firefox opens, it needs to go full screen. Voila. So you can decide it by uh, each, each application that you want, code for example. And then you can say an extra line, an extra window rule. And there are, um, there's a page here, the wiki configuration, window rules. I read it, I applied it and decided against it. Okay, so back to false. And now it is like this. I can still go for a super, sorry, super F. And there we are. But I can easily navigate at least between these two guys. And of course the key bindings, super arrow to the right, super arrow to the left. Okay, so lots of things. This is an example from the guys, I kept it in. So West term is one, uh, some kind of terminal and voila. So a rule that they've built expressively to make sure that it matches it, um, voila. What else? Again, something from the guys, not from us. Examples, examples. So read it if that's something you'd like. That's the mod S, eh? mod S is our guy. That's this line, mod S. And all the rest are just key bindings. You just go ahead and test them out. Super T, okay, super T, etc., etc. We start up with scripts, the startup script. So basically the computer boots up. We've made a video um, called 4432. 4,432, Neri, how do we launch Neri, right? So it gets, it starts up in user share Wayland sessions and it comes down to this particular file and then it goes on, right? It goes on with scripts and then auto start, uh, start up this one. That's where all the scripts are. We're gonna run Mako and we're gonna set the wallpaper, make sure that we can launch ATT, so the GNOME authentication agent, gonna set the themes, daemon here, status bar, and the NM applet, so this little guy up here, or anything else, right? You just keep on adding things that you like to add. Default on startup, Spotify needs to start. So it will, right? Just add it to the list here. And what we've done as well is install a package, an application, sorry. And from that application, that package, we're gonna install, uh, run this particular uh, application then. <laughs> so this one is for Discord. So a Discord actually works, but because of the fact that this is installed, not only Discord, the ATT, Arslink Suite Tool, AAG, uh, ADT, all of our apps work because of that particular package. I set the environment display to one. We'll see if what, what users report back. This was not in the default uh, config. I had to do something there. Alacrity wasn't looking good at all. So we made it, this is the normal look from Alacrity. Um, you like it, you hate it. I hated it, so voila. I've made a decision, choices all the time, and that's the fun. This is better. Just a choice. Screenshots that we can make, animations that we're using, but not much set here. Window rule, falls done, window rule. The bindings, where we're here, the bindings. There's something to be said about the about variety. Variety is beautiful, it's nice. But, right, let's kill everything. Variety can be launched with Alt N. Alt N launches Variety. We have an option. N stands for next. 
and there it is now next is what we have as source like this one right is what we have as source but me personally i have something called var take a look what i do at that particular thing because you can make something similar this is coming from my personal github my personal configuration for variety i've changed it it's no longer an arcanlex change or arcanlex config it's my config alt n if we do it now Users always say, give me that wallpaper, give me that wallpaper, right? It's just coming from Wallhaven. That's a nice one. It's coming from Wallhaven. None of these have been chosen by me. They are literally provided by wallpaper because of variety, because of my config. So once I've set everything, my choices are, give me any abstract image from Wallhaven. Give me any minimal from Wallhaven. Give me any, etc. Right? All nice things, and sometimes a simple give us some nice stuff. Let's go for this one, and off we go. So, wallpapers are easy. Install variety, set it the way you like with preferences, add, and then you add. The wall haven and I don't know nature or something as tag and there will be stuff coming in with the tag nature that's also a nice one so now that's one thing variety is there we've also made sure that that Python Python PyWall is there. It's an application that's already installed. Right? It's already there. And the thing is, if we have a new fetch, for instance, and that's not there. Pacman minus s new fetch. Always nice to see new fetch in different colors, or fast fetch, or anything else in a terminal. Alt shift u alt shift u changes the colors it looks at the wallpaper and it says let's change it alt shift n the next wallpaper plus change it also alt shift n next one we got the new wallpaper and those are the predominant colors is it just randomly chooses colors from the wallpaper and that's what you get and that's sometimes what you see when people make these screenshots right as simple as that so it's already built in and if you want to go further so at this point in time this thing doesn't change and this thing is called the way bar you can change the whale bar so that it applies also the color for pie wall that's this choice and only that one right this is the only one that's ready for that so we have here alt shift n and it looks at the wallpaper changes the terminal but also changes the way bar this is fun stuff and if you say i'd like to have something well different in there other elements that i don't want bigger fonts it is already there for you to go and have a look well basically i would go for super d sublime text and have a look so when we change this thing when we change the way bar we basically copy paste code from here to the way bar this is applied this is always applied whatever is in here is applied so if you want to go and study it this is where you see ah it's going to go to the cache wall calls way bar css the color is not coming from this the color is coming from a file somewhere on your machine 
and all the rest you can set them if you say I would like to have something uh, bigger in font etc up to you to decide those things and go change it so all of this modules and config any all of this what you're looking at is basically this thing so there's still much to do to develop to change so it becomes your setup super f remember make it a little bit bigger and um, make it nice so we're talking about these guys alt shift n alt shift p alt shift u is gonna take into consideration that there is the python pieball look at the wallpaper and change the terminal and the one up here so let's go on no spawning spawning is just making sure if you don't have virtualbox installed and won't launch with super f7 and this is something you need to check out so if you want to play music and you have key bindings well these these um, keys on your keyboard that says mute louder softer and plus oh sorry stop uh, previous play and pause and next right these buttons are defined here it is red so we'll probably not get it but it's no problem it's okay and this is something you have to read and to test and i have to read and test to figure out how all these key bindings work because we need to be able to navigate through uh, niri and it's um well moving from one place to the other place but also focusing things but also moving things and uh, putting something first mod home mod end or mod shift left etc i mean also for me um, there's still a lot to learn since it has been three days right since i've been on this thing so um, a lot of things we can do scrolling with our wheel the mouse yeah might be not a bad idea to get a scroll an actual mouse this is the ampersand xiq so this is a thing that is the azerty in us and also uk i guess it will be one two three four five but we have something else on our machine so we need to change always this thing and for the rest this is something interesting so the mod f and the mod shift f full screen reset the window maybe center a column so mod c centers this if you're tired of putting of living it to the, the left or right always right mod c make it bigger or smaller this is difficult for us in azerty mean as an equal uk no problems haven't changed this yet didn't, didn't make sense to change it yet and some printing and mid shift e is not from us mod shift e this is uh, the default near exit but we have super x and we have super shift x so that's it um we've been playing all around a little bit um it's it's interesting surely can re recommend it and I'm a bit surprised that it works so splendidly inside VirtualBox. So there is nothing wasted. I mean, right? VirtualBox, you just play with it. You don't like it, done. And otherwise, you have to, yeah, install it on real metal, and that's something totally different. Now, I let you explore Niri, and if you want to go back, maybe let's go there. Back to default, so everything ends back again like it used to be and we have our normal way bar again enjoy nearly